Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brooklyn, New York for the 5th annual Crossroads pay-per-view and you are watching the 5 year anniversary of the RFPW Fed. Tonight we're going to kick off tonight's action with a tag team match scheduled for the tag team championships. Introducing first team number one representing the hype show it's Dan Masters he's always up to speed always up to hype here he is this lovely arena in Brooklyn New York bound to go many many places here Crowd always happy to see Dan Masters. It's all the crowd here tonight. 17,000 have come to watch the witness. On the five year anniversary of the RFW Fed. Will history be written tonight? And in which ways? Ladies and gentlemen, his partner. He's the darkness himself, the heartbreaker, Damien Valentine. Former RFPW Fed champion, and he's ready to get what he is. At least that's what he's hoping for to claim here tonight. So things can go many ways here. So I'm very, very honest. I hope to see many great new things. But their opposing team consists of Pins Peary and John Woods. They are your reigning and defending two time RFPWE Fair Tag Team Champions. They are the Pirates! And now we will find out how this will continue. There it is. What will happen next? That is what we're going to find out right now. The hype show is ready. So let's see what they can make of it and what they want to make of it. Everything looks to be going their way. There it is, the Pirates, the current reigning and defending tag team champions. So here we go, Pirates and Dan Masters in this very first match up here tonight we're gonna start things off here 
Nice leg drop there. Started upon. Now you just gotta keep that going. Oh, hang on. Here they go. Make sure to vote, of course, in the polls throughout the night. Because that will get you fantasies with which you can upgrade your character. Always recommend it. Of course, fantasies can be earned by winning matches, but also trying to vote. Being active on the live streams. We're looking at future ways to do even enhance that. There, to Damien Valentine and Damas working closely together. Nice, uppercut. Jesus, and the referee's been knocked out. Woods. He's in control right now. But Dan Masters is one smart fella. He knows how to counter it. He starts to. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice knee strike there right to the back of the knee of John Woods smart strategy here by Dan Masters in doing so oh and what a knockout blow there are now Finns Pewis it's his turn and try and get this all done smart work here tonight Oh, that was a harsh kick to the gut. Damien Valentine tried to go for it, but a counter with a DDT there by Finch Pee Wee. Smart work there. And a power slam to the canvas. One. Only one count. Damien won tough son of a gun. The lights go out for the very first time. That wouldn't be the last time, I reckon. Things are pretty shaky backstage. Logically, with a five year anniversary of the RFWE Fed. And help us support directly if you want to help support us. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, even subscribe on Twitch. That will help us directly and financially to continue to support these shows. And we're trying to always make them better, so definitely help us out. The most recent change, of course, the new bot, which, which you can bet. Funded by our current RFW champion Roy Pierce, who donated massively from his earnings to uh, to help us out with that. And you can keep helping us. We'll find new incentives to do so. Oh, I 
In the meantime, John Woods looking in the outside of Finch Pease, battling Darian Valentine inside the ring. There's a huge knee strike, and that might help to get where they want to be. Damien Valentine only to a two count. Definitely trying his hardest to go where he needs to be on what he thinks is the best. Just keep that out up. And Damien Valentine again. Finn's Piri is so far it seems like it is the weak link in this matchup. Oh but Damien Valentine keeps it going. Rampaging. strategy here tonight an all out battle front and of course it's logical that in the meantime these four men are going all out Pyro's been holding those tiles since the winter game pay-per-view in January and I reckon they want to keep that going Vince Peewee Well, Valentine keeps it steady. Finn's Pee Wee try to go for it. Didn't tag John Woods in. Goes to the top rope, fist to the face. Is a clear lock in. Dan Masters wanted Damon Valentine to tag him. Didn't work out. Possibly attack mate now. No counter outside of the corner from Damien Valentine. Strong tag team match here tonight. Many more matches to come. 10 in total. So brace yourself for what is still left if this is a starter. Damien Valentine just looking on. Also trying to get a bit of a rest and straight up takes over roll through there you go one two and John Woods breaks up And an attack made to Dan Masters. Ready to hype it up. Bye. Self harm sometimes goes a better way than damaging your opponent. Don't always do that, but smart. But then again, Vince Peary takes over with a huge suplex. Attack made to John Woods. And we're keeping the momentum going here.
cover. Two. Two. Oh, Jesus. Hosh into the corner. Damn Masters. Jesus. Ow. And Don Woods. Standing tall. That is not what you would have liked. But Dan Martz is a man who never gives up fights with all his heart. DDT. Oh, again in the corner now. Hike show. It's getting better and better. Oh no, Kings PV turns it round, double clothesline, double whammy. Cover, two. two. Finn's Peewee now has an option to end it against Dan Masters. Oh, harsh. Right blow there. Bang! A right knockout punch. John Wood still seems out of it, so he's got to go at it alone. One, two, and Damian Valentine breaks it up in the nick of time. Dan Masters gets a punch from John Woods. Smart strategy there, but he gets a woke again. Oh, and again, the referee goes down a second time. There you go! John Woods with an elbow drop to the cover. One, two, two, two and a half. And John Woods is looking at David Valentine saying, I got this. And he might. Goes over. It doesn't look good for the Hype Show team. The Pirates look solid and steady. Oh my, huge card at DDT and busted open Dan Masters. What a turnaround of events here. A huge suplex. And the face is banging across the turnbuckle. The head busted open. Even more and even wider. Oh, that's a low blow. That should have been a DQ, but it isn't. Wow. Oh, incredible work here. But Dan Masters is a fighter from hell.
Hang on there. Oh, there we go. What a painful landing. And this could be it. Two, no. Broken up again. But it's done. Vince Peary says, Good night, Damien Valentine. Get out. And there's a leg drop. Oh, and there it is. A huge clothesline. I think that's close to the end here. Legs are being taken out. Cover now. And that's it. Dan Mars just couldn't take much more. And that's it. Let's take a look at the replay. The huge right of punch from Finn's Pee Wee. And Damon Valentine with a huge kick to the forehead. And of course, many great things were set to happen. The referee was knocked out twice during this match. And now a knockout punch again. Both teams fought very, very hard. And I don't think it's going to be the last time they face each other. But the matter of the fact is, we have a winner and your winners, and still the tag team champions, the Pirates. More nine great matches left to come, so stick tuned for Crossroads. We'll be right back with you with more great action here. And now we're going to continue with a match between Justice Stone and Morgan Wolf here on Crossroads, the five year anniversary pay per view. And the following match is scheduled for one fall. And introducing first he is ranked in the men's division at number you always have to take a look sorry about that always do so just a stone 25 is from Manchester England and he's ready to rock and roll here at crossroads I wonder how that's going to be like just a stone has had one match, one loss of course, in the eight man David Hans Battle Royal. But let's see how he fares against one of the veterans here today. Curious questions. Multi answers. Just a stone off to a good start. What, what happens next? And his opponent, right, number 17 from Coventry, England, it's Morgan Wolf. On Evolution earlier this week, he went to a double can out with Georgie Mack. So that one feature match win and four losses. Morgan Wolf off to a battening start. And he won his for one and only matchup this season so far against Jack Walker with losses to Christian Crude, Georgie Mack, Johnny Payne and Ryan Riley. What's next for Morgan Wolf? Been a great champion in several promotions, and I bet he wants to up the ante in that. But then again, he's got to come up with new things if he wants to get that done. Very anxious to see what that is going to bring here at Crossroads. Next week. There will be no show due to holidays. The holiday season starts, but a week after that we'll be back on Friday evening with Evolution. So make sure to stick tuned, because there's more information coming about that Evolution episode and more details on other things related to RFW really soon. 
Mortal Wolf, as always, loves the pirates. Tonight we can do so. When I sold our crowd, it's going to be fantastic. The bell is rung, and we are on the way. What's going to shoot, and what's going to happen next? Nice suplex to start this thing off. Morgan Wolf, of course, wasting no time. Ah, uh, Wolf now! Oh, oh, across the neck. Unorthodox strategies here. Well, don't ride up just to stone. He's slowly getting back to his feet. Rules out of the way. Seems like hurt has been done. Morgan Wolf again around the neck. And that's going to be felt in the morning after the pay per view. Into the corner now. What a huge splash. Not a one. Oh, Morgan Wolf. So not letting his opponent go wants to get this fast and secured in the least amount of time and I understand that but he's got to, he's got to keep an eye out for it one two There's more to come. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. It's just a stone fighting back in this matchup. How far can he get, though? It's really working hard on it. Up he goes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. What a takedown. One. Just a stone, not wasting any time. It's going to get there. Oh no, oh hang on. Jesus, that's painful. One, two, no cannon here tonight, it seems like it, and it shouldn't be, because that is not what you like. Oh, gosh, that is so painful. One, two. Oh, mate, no, wait a minute. Kind of starting once again here. Keep your eyes feasted and focus on it. Three. More matches to come, of course. Ten matches until tonight. Many championship matches. Keep your eyes feasted on it. 
Lots of things going on here. Oh, what a suplex. to the face two very 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 close there oh boot it up no oh, wait a minute Sprang on, sprang on, down. Oh, down on, there he goes, stretching it. Referee's run around. But Justin Stone has to submit. Morgan Wolf wins. What an achievement finally for Morgan Wolf in a premier event he gets the victory. One upset though. But wonderfully done. He's got to keep that up. And just look at that, right into the front of the face. Man, oh man. But then again, we've got to move on. The first championship match of tonight, well, the second already, is on hands. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, representing Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He's a former Cruiserweight champion. His name is Roderick McGillicuddy. He held the title from Destination and Unknown Woods till Evolution 6, 24 days before he lost that title very unexpectedly to the current champion. And might this be the turnaround of events for Roderick McGillicuddy to regain that title, get it back around his waist? Where he thinks it belongs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the man who needs no music, apparently, he is the current reigning and defending cruiserweight champion. From Chicago, Illinois, in the USA, his name is Johnny Payne. And he lost Payne, was blasted through a table in the opening match on Evolution in a fatal four way. But after that, he was left alone in the ring, was set to go up against Roderick McGillicuddy for that Cruiserweight Championship. And he won. Nobody ever expected that. Here it is. The red belt with the UK and Dutch flags on him. The home bases of our FW. A five year anniversary when it all started on the 31st of March 2014. 
let's get ready for another exciting year and ladies and gentlemen we will not disappoint you by starting off with one of the greatest pay-per-views the fifth annual crossroads pay-per-view what an amazing start of this year and don't forget next month the grandest pay-per-view of them all new to the pay-per-view calendar victory road comes to you at the end of the month of april it's going to be fantastic that's for sure here it is there's a the title belt that's what it's going to be all about in this matchup and there's going to be so many more great ones to follow suit here tonight but it's one hot rivalry that's going to come to fruition tonight and the bell is run and we are underway Robert McGillicuddy technical and submission specialist Johnny Payne just endures any pain possible than one of the most resilient men on the roster oh referee says don't do it again and you'll get disqualified and he will lose his championship because of it he knows it there's no championship advantage unlike so many other promotions but there's qualification if there's a disqualification rule in place that means there will be an end to it all and the title will be vacated Oh, wait a minute, there we go. Knocks and knee strikes. Across the face. And there comes the turnaround, the arm breaker, the leg lock. Johnny Payne again resilient, so he is no trouble getting out, not tired yet. Both gentlemen have time to rest. And now a kick to the arm. Goes for the ligaments. The strong points of Roderick McGillicuddy being targeted. And now we can see McGillicuddy moving around. Trying to take out the base of Johnny Payne. But so far Payne has the momentum across his pace in the ring. There's the DDT across the apron. The neck being bent heavily during that move. And 17,000 people plus witnessing it here. The actual number is not what it is right now. But we should be able to reveal that later on tonight. But what an excellent, excellent performance by these two gentlemen here. Expect nothing more or less from them. But this is going to be a wall well done Six. Seven. Seven. and now back into the ring they go one only a one count And Rick McGillicuddy has got it locked in again. Ooh. Oh, across the face, hammering it down. Oh, 
and he's got that locked in again but Johnny Payne gets out awesome work there by the current you're cruiserweight cha uh, you're the, wait a minute cruiserweight champion that is not correct I see an error on the website we should change that immediately but we get to it don't worry don't worry don't despair we'll be there two, two. three where is this gonna go with the cruiserweight championship cover now boy Johnny Pine the referee's waiting for it getting in position he's doing a fantastic job on state anything else currently one Oh, hang on, no, 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 oh, yeah, that's painful, to say the least, oh, no, oh, off his feet, and smart work here by Johnny Payne. That's not what he had expected. Oh. We tend to think when it comes around to wrestling, everything's going well and fine, but it doesn't. Brody McGillicuddy is trying to win this matchup and doesn't proceed to do that and get the victory. Use Asher Crossroads. Send your tweets at RFWEFED. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube, youtube.com slash RFW2014. And make sure to subscribe to us on Twitch if you're a fan. The more your direct support is, the better it is, the more we can do for you. Oh, Jesus. And now there's a takedown and a clues line upside down. Cover again. Looking to the arm. Rodrick McGillagate trying to regain that cruiserweight championship. Johnny Payne trying to wriggle himself out of it. He does. This match going back and forth. Now with the cover. No, two count. I'd imagine Roderick McGillicuddy trying that for reasons, but that's not enough. He needs to do a lot more if he wants to win it. Sucking the arm again now. Not a road break, can't get to it. Might break the arm here of Johnny Payne. Will he have to tap? What a wonderful matchup here. That's something that I had not expected. Oh, you could hear the agony in the voice of Roderick McGillicuddy. So disappointed with that. And I do understand it. But there's a lot more that needs to go out from that. Oh, face first. Johnny Payne turns it all around. Could be over in a second. Oh, car breaker. Cover. One, two, three. What a matchup. Johnny Payne turns it around in just the heat of a second. Well, let's take a look at the replay before we go to the official result. Courtesy of the referee inside the ring. Boy, this was a slaughter fest. But no one got slaughtered. Only one person got defeated.
what an unbelievable match and this one says a precedent for all the match to come try and outperform this one because this was a classic that's for sure visit the website rfwefed.weebly.com not rfwefed.com but rfwefed one go .weebly.com for all information about our shows roster championships and more and for the official results your winner and still the RFPW Fed Cruiserweight Champion, New Johnny Payne. What a banger! Incredible work there. Your winner, New Johnny Payne. Next up, we're going to see something interesting. The official return to the big screens for the Women's Tag Team Championship. There's a lot of stories to be invoiced here. We're going to get to it. They're already inside the ring. We want to cut this pavement a little bit shorter because otherwise the thing is going to get out of hand. But what we know, Dutch Power was Ariel Wolf and Kimberly Blight. Ariel Wolf has not decided to return to the ring, so right cut Karamba takes over. And those two will now defend their titles against Violet Raven and Sydney Blake. The challenges. Violet Raven, of course, in a number one contendership match for the women's singles titles with Kimberly Blake. Kimberly Blake came out on a very a winning end. Well debated victorious again tonight. Kimberly Blight also faces Mercedes Richie for that women's title later on. Riker Karamba, part of Dutch Power, aka 17, uh, 16, 18, 19. As formerly known, Wolf and Blight. Dutch Power had all the titles. So let's see how they will do here tonight. This one, the purple variation of the title. Kimberly Blight and Sydney Blake are going to start this one off. Going to be pushed back into the corner. How long does the referee allow it? Because that will take an amount of time to separate him. He does so successfully. And that's good news. Going to start off. Slowly. There's an Irish whip there. Nice close line. From the get go. So what I'm wondering is, what can we expect next? Hang on! Oh! oh. Well that is painful. And he's got the surfboard well and applied. Got to find what is necessary to get back in there. Two. Raika Karamba doesn't take no for an answer either. So let's see what that will do. Oh, oh but Raika Karamba gets out. Gets in with Violet Raven. Where does it go from there?
There it is. Oh, no, wait a minute. Nope, hang on there. No, 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 no. Oh, one flip. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh. Right, Kikaramba. Keep sit up. High intensity there. Destroy it. One. Two. But where's gonna take these two ladies? Where are they gonna go from here on out? What a starter. No! Oh, missed it! Look at that! Jesus! Listen to the power of the women. The women's division on fire here. And the influx of ladies keeps on going. Misses out there. Violet Raven. No. Can it. Into the corner by Raika Karamba. Oh, can it again. Try to go for a spear. It looked like it. High up. High down. Right, Karamba, the most recent addition to the women's division. Off to a world start in singles. Good showcases, even though it didn't translate to victories. Oh, just hear that! What a high altitude kick. Cover now, but Kimberly Blight picks it up. Wonderful job there. Right, Kakarumba now. Oh, and down. Oh. <laughs> What a splash, you can hear the turnbuckle trying to find his way. Sandy Blake now on the counter. With a hot tag. But couldn't make it worthwhile, snap there. No kick to the back. Good start, keep it up.
going on there. Kimberly Blight leaves the opening to consolidate this match. Oh, oh, oh. High kick there. She's got to go for the cover. And she does so. One, two, two counts. Well tried, well tried. Misses now. Cindy Blake gets an opening in his match to turn it all around crowd is going wild they know what they're seeing here is high volatile action We're ready to explode any minute and Violet Raven now puts Kim Blind in the corner monkey flip and a huge one Looking at Nick trying to squeeze every bit of life out of her. Kim Light is a big girl. Knows how to handle her cell to Dutch Delight. There we go, flying. Next the plane. Sends her away for a one way trip to defeat. What she's trying to achieve. Moreover, I think she has opportunities to win his matchup. And these two ladies want to walk away as the champions. But what happens in case the Dutch power team fails to retain those titles for the very first time on air since Pain Crusade last year? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have news for you. In that case, they lose their tiles off a record 188 days. The longest single reign since the Grey Vipers who held the titles for 142 days. And then won it from uh, Dutch Power with Wolf and Blight. And also to Wolf and Blight again. But what will be made of it? I think Violet Raven has shots here to try and get back into it. Cover. And Kim Blight bricks it up again. But this time Violet Raven fights back. And now Cindy Blake turning her attention to Blight. That offers the option to Karama to get back. Blake's going to leave the ring right now. Bush gets disqualified. Karama now, leg drop. Opportunities are here. Two. Not enough yet to win it. The very first teams that went through here should be happy with the light of what's going on here. Of Katy Mays and Anaka Anderson, who won uh, the titles for the first time on Women's Night Out Season 4, Episode 2, on 5 February 2015. There was Melanie Gray and I, Amina Gishi, for the first time, who switched uh, with Dirty Erica and Jerima Santos, and Ryan and Amina Yim. John Rima Santos and Anaka Anderson again. Now we had several teams trying to chase off what was going on and turn around. The great teams have come and gone. Including later on tonight, Kim Wright faced Mercedes Ritchie. They once held that title, but less than a day when it changed hands again to the Grey Vipers for the very first time. Tonight they'll be in action 101 for the women's championship. Oh what a bash! Bang as a mash involved for the STO there. 
Huge new strike again. Women's so resilient here. Banging her across the canvas. Ladies not giving up or giving in. And Sandy Blake looks to be the one who might be able to defeat herself. Fight away from one of the attack. That didn't work out. Sydney Blake now has an opening to make that tag. Huge leap across the chest. Was your tag? No. Sydney Blake thinks she can finish it off herself. And in a huge fashion in a brain buster. Could she win it? Cover. Oh, and Kim Lloyd takes out Violet Raven and the referee, Sydney Blake, though, tries to go for Blight. That doesn't work out. She's taunting herself now, I don't think that's the smartest. But she keeps the momentum across right Karamba. Two great elbows. A huge kick to the face. That's going to send a leapfrog in. Maroi Karamba unexpectedly fights back, so does Cindy Blake. What is going on here? There's a women's tag team championship matchup. Bang! The, the, the speed of the match has picked up. It goes over the top rope. Violet Raven still recuperating. But Cindy Blake is going to risk it all. She's going to take it to the outside. And misses. But she gets up in an instant. And being across the ring. Throne. Oh. What a matchup. Suddenly it picks up. Face first. Into the post. And again. Huge leap across the chest again, chops all around. Back into the ring. What a match. Crowd is going wild, they thought it was going to get leaped again. Oh, unorthodox there. Not something we've commonly seen, but the tags are made. Violet Raven and Kimberly Blight. Evolution, the number one contendership match. Which was a classic. Now again, a drop toll on the counter. Drop kick. Options open here for Violet Raven to close out this match. Can she win her very first championship? Earlier than Kim Blight can get that women's title possibly in hand. Cover and Riker Karamba breaks it up. Goes back on her. Oh, but no, Riker Karamba taken out. Violet Raven looking to close out here. Trying to get rid of both halves of the team. Getting exhausted, of course. This match has been going on for over 15 minutes. And these women are starting to feel aches and pains. Very, very normal. hit right in the gut cattered Jesus something that I've not seen before in a women's tag team championship matches pardon the pardon but that's the way it is cover now Riker Karamba misses but Sydney Blake has the option to break it up Kim Bly punched the referee by accident. Which to tells Rod Karam she should get out of it. Don't know what Kim Bly's doing. Backing herself up. Keeping the pace. And I get slammed for it. Don't know what went on there. But that might give the opening to Violet Raven. Ah, 
and a new monkey flip back in agony tried to make a tag didn't work out maybe she can do so now decides to stay in it right hook punch looks like Kim Blyde is out of it this might be a championship change to 180 days but misses goes to the second connection misses as well tight mate Nook Hatter switches places who will win this match outstanding match quality Back and forth they go. Drop toe, elbow drop. Classic combo. Right, Karama try to go for the tag, but it looks to be here. Kim has got to realise she has a singles opportunity later on tonight. She can't keep her bell, she'd like to. But there's the brain buster by Sydney Blake. Will attempt to go for the cover. Right, Karama knows what's at stake for Blighted later on tonight and via Raven dodges right Karama can settle the score now but couldn't distract Sydney Blake enough Sydney Blake now going to the top row and there's only so much that right Karama can do Sydney Blake you're being thrown over Everything's changed now to the bomb drag. What a quality fist of cannons. Oh again. And now a close line. Don't know what else you can do to try and fix that. There's a sit-up power bomb. It's gotta go for the cover. Two. Right Karama spotted Violet Raven. It's gonna go after her. Try to go to Sydney Blake, that didn't work out. Wrong strategy here. And while Riker Karama's been taken out, another power bomb. Cover. Wow. Great job by these two looking out of the ring and securing that victory. But what an instant classic women's tag team championship match this was. I've not seen that great of these matches and this went to distance, this went to length this went to anything better, better and beyond than what I had expected prior to this matchup it being uh, scheduled so late, I thought the priorities of Blight were different but she went all out but your winners and after 188 days the new women's champion Sydney Blake and Violet Raven. What an interesting feat here for these two. And let's see who their new challenges will become prior to Victory Road. Fantastic job. Next up, we're going to go on a singles match scheduled for one fall. And that will be between Alexander Vachon and William Caesar, the heavyweights, are up next. We're back here in Brooklyn, New York for Crossroads. And we're going to start off with a man who won the eight man debutante ladder match and won 400 fancy euros by doing so. He's from the Garden of Eden. It's Alexander Vachon. And I wonder how he can breathe with that mask in front of him. But he's a tall lad. Proper heavyweight. Well, we just got to see what next is up. But he's got a great man. People are happy, that's for sure. Yeah!
But where does Alexander Vashor go from here? Just looking over it, scouting what is ahead. And whatever you do, child, adult or elderly, please do not try this at home. They are trained professionals and they work their guts off to try and com compete in this rider's ring. So never do this. Only under guidance of possible trainers. And just look at even the big size of him and being so physically fit with his abdomen. His opponent for tonight is only one rank below him, he's ranked number 16. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas in the USA. His name is William Caesar. My can spot a little mistake here because it says that he is a uh, drawn. That's not correct. And there he is, William Caesar. Hoping to get things done. But since it is a new season, we will reset everything on the clock. We'll have to tune in from there. So it really doesn't matter currently. We'll get to it. William Caesar happy with the start of being on this grand pay per view. And we're on our way. Caesar Vajal. Straight up. What a Christ seeking slam. Let's hope they don't break through the ring. No, wait a minute, nope. Slow elbow there, but it did work. Don't forget about how he's amazingly slow at times, but it doesn't always be the case. Well, it isn't always the case. William Caesar now with a huge German suplex. Gonna take it out with a huge clothesline. He's even gonna send Alexander Vashor flying upside down. Oh man. Booze all around. Up he goes. And down he goes again. Jesus, what a knockout blow with an uppercut. Yeah, that's going to be felt. One. But Williams, he never stops advancing, fights out of the corner, but a DDT there. Advance sure, more trade, more agility, more speed. William Caesar. Over the top prop he goes. Booze happening. They don't like for sure one bit. What's going on next?
on the apron. Bye bye. Five. Throwing them back into the ring. Six. And season now. Drops him on the gut. And there he goes. A full body splash. Cover. Two. No, hang on. No, 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 no. Face, claw, apply. It is awesome seeing these heavyweights go all the way out. down with a straight jacket again I don't like you Alexander but that's all right you're doing an amazing amount of punishment that's for sure and a back body drop there cover two Not enough yet, but you want to take out more. The more the better, but it needs to come its way. Vashon looks to close it out. The barrel of the heavyweights, look at that! Sheer power! And the defeat William Caesar with one of the harshest, most difficult and most heavy power slams I've ever seen. Just not an hour for me, but I've ever seen. And that says something. What an incredible feature there. Wow. Alexander Vachon can be happy with that victory. This is a future contender for any mid championship. Wow. Next up, a uh, clash and a rematch of the main event of the last episode of Evolution. But there's more here in Brooklyn, New York. And we're going to start off with the challenger from England. He's a former RFB Fed European champion. It's Warrior J. His signature warrior kick and the wings of Raw to finish it all off. Held the title for 35 days until he lost it all again to the man he's challenging here tonight Yes, 
but here comes its opponent. We're gonna burn it out with a current reigning and defending a European champion from Charleston, West Virginia in the USA is the number three ranked men's division placeholder he is John Aaron John Aaron set to try and retain a title once again but many things can happen and they will that's what I'm sure of This is what it's all about, the European Championship here at Crossroads. What's next? What's more to come? Warrior J is ready. Ready to regain that title. Here we go. And there we go, we've started. No, wait a minute. Oh, what a start. No, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. No! Looks like John Aaron is pulling the short strings here. Only one way to find out. John Aaron is in trouble. It's not looking good for the current champion. Looks like he's had a fair share of trouble when it came to evolution. But now it gets a drop kick again. A little bit of opening here. This is Warrior J to the outside. Gets back up though, it's the same fashion as Cindy Blake. But now it gets dropped across the apron. And John Aaron can be feeling happy about that one. Again, across the apron with his face now smashed into the ring. And a huge kick to the forehead. Gonna get back into it. 
five count. And that's where we're going to leave it for now. John Aaron. Please, Forrest. That might be the nut count. The huge key afterwards. Smart try to keep the pace going. Knee strike to the face. He's got to keep that started. Doing a wonderful job and what he needs to do. He's going to lock the arm in. The same fashion as Roderick McGillicuddy does it. Will this be a tap? No. Johnny Allen used to the tricks of Oya J. His men have had various, various encounters. Not only on the screens. So this leaves an amount of room to get that victory in. And a huge DDT. And John Harry and happy about that. And I can understand his feelings. There we go. One, two close lines. And a huge kick to the face. What does he do? He's not going for a cover yes yet. But that huge suplex though. One, two, two. He's upset about that one. But anger is never the best option to win it. And as a turn buckles his play, we also started very, very small. Now become very, very big. And as the standing moon salt into the cover. Two again. Starting to get fed up. You can understand that, but you should keep your head all eyes on the prize. Keep focused. And he's going to score screw moonsault. He misses. He misses out. And both gentlemen getting back up to their feet. But John Aaron, even with that huge miss, does get back into it. Keeps the momentum on his side. Try to go for a suplex there, but the back gave in. There's the future shot. Warrior J tries to fix what was broken in his first couple of attempts to regain that championship. But John Aaron has done a wonderful job implementing what he needs to do. His killer move set definitely one ups Warrior J's currently. Just look at that. Pet scissors kip up. Going out in the fitter man. It's going to hook that arm in. Will he tap out? No. Turns it round. Very fortunate there for Warrior J. But there's the really German suplex. Shoulders down too. That could have been a surprise. It isn't. We're continuing onwards. And this sets a ball very, very high for Victory Road. A new major pay per view. What's next? There it is. Another submission locked in. Will Warrior J have to tap out? And will John Arrow remain European champion? No. Finds a little bit of space. That's enough to get out of the hold. Kicks to the leg. Smart work. First the back, then the legs. Trying to focus on the bases of John Aaron's attack. And Warrior J has a two count. An all out brawl and an all out war, just like every match we've seen so far. Rising to the occasion, everyone on the pay per view here. But there's another arm locked in. Referee's got to take a look at it. Will Warrior do you have to tap so close to the ropes? Rev asking him. Not prepared to let go and not enough. But John Aaron has opportunities to finish it here. He's high, you can see it. 
There we go. Rules through. Very dedicated to the back, but it wasn't very high impact, and that only got him a two and a half. Now, knee strike right to the face. He's going to go up top again. Can he this time connect? But look how Warrior J is up in time. Is this the unexpected momentum shift that will win the European Championship? There it comes inbound the kick that's gonna bust him open. John Aaron on the verge of losing it to all here tonight. Package slam. Warrior continues the onslaught here. Now with the neck being in a hold. You don't want to get yourself into court screw standing moonsault. These two could participate in the cruiserweight division. Weight and agility. Looks like John Aaron got a counter in. Don't know what really happened there. John Aaron with a kick now. Oh, a Canadian destroyer. Was that a Canadian destroyer? Look like it. Cover. One, two. two. <laughs> oh my god. This is incredible. What a series of matches we've had so far. It's only get more interesting as we go forward. Shots. Shots called. One. Two. Oh boy. This cannot be possible. But it is though. Warrior J now again. Come on, this should be it. One, two, go! Two point eight, and he's getting fed up, getting angered. Now trying to beat John Aaron with his own game. Submission. Yes! He's got it! He can see the tap with the left arm. What a matchup. And the title changes hands, ladies and gentlemen. The title changes hands after 88 days. The prior one, the women's tackle title, 188 days. This one, 88 days. The reign of John Aaron comes to an end. Just look at that. This was incredible. Here's your winner and the new 24 European Championship reign, courtesy of Warrior J. Wow! Such work involved, hard work there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And now ladies and gentlemen we come to your triple main event of the evening. There was scheduled to be one more matchup but that hasn't gone on due to the departure of Christian Crude last minute. So we're going to continue onwards here in Brooklyn, New York with the very first of three main events. Ladies and gentlemen, first up, 
the following match is scheduled for one fall and it's for the RFWE Fed World Championship interesting first from Birmingham Alabama in the USA a former RFPWE Fed champion ranked number 22 Damian Valentine he kept his number one contendership position after defeating me Dan Masters I think it was Jaden Shadow but it could have been Dylan Vincent I'm not too sure and a fatal four way hell in a cell match to keep that number one contendership position and he's invoked it and cashed it in here tonight so we'll now have to see what's going to continue on next And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent. He comes from Panning in the Netherlands. And is the current reigning and defending number two in the rankings and world champion. He's been on this side for 218 days. Rick Heber. And so now, what awaits us in a triple main event? First up, the RFWE Fed World Championship in the hands of Rick Curvis. 218 days. I can tell you that is the single longest reign in history of RFPW. And I doubt Rick Curvis wants to let that championship go but also also ladies and gentlemen in combined days there's not been any champion longer reigning than Rick Curvis to date and that is a precedent not even Amy Satoshi not even Axelita Jr the only one that comes close in separate championships might be the Mac. Well, the title, uh, singles titles that is, 130 days for the RFWE Fed Championship and 171 days for the Cruiserweight title. That was the longest reigning championship into history. And so that is the next target. It has to last three more months. But that would be unprecedented. But we started off, Valentine is off to redemption. From the last six matches, he's only won five of them. And he definitely wants to get back in the game. He's lost two to Jaden Shadow. He's lost one to myself, and of course, um, he has Dan Masters, was one of them. But not only that, he's also lost two to Rick prior to tonight. And that's going to get into his head. You don't want to lose that much in one single go. But Valentine is off to a strong start. He's reinvented himself. Uh, he reinvented himself. Uh, various times and I think this one might be the change that's going to get him back into it not the happy chap heartbreaker no he's finally spun himself around they were two darker plays but I think that suits him I think that helps him very well but where do we go from here it's 
take down. With a knee. Into the canvas. Not the best, not the most struggling part. So we want to keep that up, that's for sure. Game of Valentine escaping the ring, but Rick Hervis gets out as well. But gets counted. Damon Valentine somehow seems off not in the position where he was before when he was a champion and those things can happen don't get me wrong but Damon Valentine has been tossed around the ring the ref has stopped the can act and he's restarted to five and it's going to get very, very ironic should this end in the can act. Seven for the champion. But there it is. The backbreaker. And the cover already. Two. Zone looking to finish it up here. I don't know what's going on with Damien Valentine. Well, that is not what we had expected. Face first. Good night. Unless Damien fights out of it. No. The reign of Curvers stretches beyond 218 days. It's only going to continue. Shame we couldn't see much more out of Damien Valentine here tonight wasted opportunity I thought it would have been better to keep this cash in of this shot a little bit longer but it was his decision not to do so and there go the alarms and that means your winner and still the world champion 219 days tomorrow single longest individual reign in any major championship Rick Curvis keeps hold of this title what a feat incredible and there are two more matches to come right after this so stick tuned it's going to be amazing And now, ladies and gentlemen, the women's division comes to the pinnacle of their division. We're going to come towards the women's championship. And what's going to be an outstanding classic. Earlier tonight, we could see Kim Bly and Raika Karamba losing the women's tag team ties for Dutch Power after 188 days. But that being said, no opportunities can be wasted. I just gotta go for it here tonight. And I know she will, that's for sure. Kim Blight hopes to throw off Mercedes Richie Overthrown. And let's take a look at the women's division. Kim Blight currently at position number six. Has had two matches since return. One won, one lost. The question is, what will happen here tonight? In accordance with the World Championship, the Women's Championship has been on the line for various time. And tonight, after 123 days, this might be the end of Mercedes Ritchie's first reign. Which could also be the uh, very longest individual Women's Championship reign to date if I'm not mistaken Taylor Hendricks at 108 Ivelisse at one longer 125 and Jessica Thunder the longest 138 days one more month it could be dance time for Richie breaking the record the dancing diva from Rio Brazil though needs to do more if she wants to keep this around her waist because Kim Blight, a former four-time Academy Champion, multi-time Women's Tag Team Champion, is one on the rise. 
and Rachel and Blyde have worked together in training were what women's tag team champions even for less than a day but they competed together so let's see what that's going to bring And he, she's happy, of course. Are oh, you not amused by Mercedes Richie? Yes, dance time is here. And now let's get to battling. This is the prize they'll be fighting for. There it is. The Women's Championship. It's been evolved ever since the start of Bat Kachansky. ODB, Jessica Tunder, the initial three women's champions. All the famers have held this title. Including Jessica Tunder. Including Ursula Neumann. And Ariella Wolf. But who's next? Will Kim Blight secure her very first women's championship reign? Or will the reign of Richie? The dance time continue. 123 days. That is what it's going to come down to. Are you happy? Then so am I. Let's get the show on the way. Get your bets in. This is going to be a classic. We are on the way officially here at Crossroads, the women's title. Place your bets right now. Take down by Richie. Granted, of course, Kim Wright had the women's sack team championship match. Luckily for her, that was over an hour ago. Let's see how she recuperated. It's going to be off to a slow start. Richie has uh, Kirches as he is a sports uh, woman. Gives Blight a little bit of time to get into to this match. But don't waste any time to try and win this. You're in it for yourself, not for anyone else. So you've got to keep that going. Elbow there gets a disconnection. And that's what you've got to do. Gets out of the ring, smart. And Richie takes over. That's what we're accustomed to seeing from her. But for how long can she keep that up? Kim Light with the first cut of the match, but only one cut. Quite a logical one count. But the longer this is going to go, the worse it's going to get. And she's been thrown over the top rope. Richie doesn't want to go off to a too slow start. But she shouldn't. Because you all want to win the match. Whichever you are, or whoever you are, I should say. You want to win this. You want to keep that championship for as long as you can around your waist. But it's only one day. One month one year or a decade it doesn't matter even hell of a lifetime until retirement no it's only one can that's not enough needs to find more and I doubt Reggie's want to lay off in time the blight the opportunity to come back into this matchup most pleasantly she wants to close it out in under five minutes oh, 
So what's next? Oh no, wait a minute. Stretch is ongoing, of course, the figure eight. But now what? The referee doesn't want to interfere and I can understand that. This is the triple main event of Crossroads. Kim Blight now puts Richie on the top rope. And what's next? Nope, up she goes, down she goes, nope. It's not enough yet. Drop kick. Smart work there. She's happy about it. And so should she. One. Already looking at finishing it off. There's more to play for. But Rich has got to get back up in it. Or well, this could be very close to the elimination of the women's championship reign. Bashed into the head and Richie has got to get back into this quickly. Into the corner. But now it's a DDT. Pin follows admission. That's what it's all about. Got to fight it right now. No. On the legs now. Trying to work on them to get that submission victory in place. Blight now on the knees. There she goes over the top rope. And on the outside. Will we see a kind of victory? I don't think so. These two women are too eager to win it in the most credible way. There's a Russian leg sweep. Classic. Now back into the ring they go. Oh, a huge super kick. Well, huge chick kick, I should call it. And that's it. What? That is not even possible. That went faster. Then I have expected these main events are going faster than actual singles championships earlier on in the evening. Don't know what's going on with the champions or challengers. But it looked to be all over with this figure eight. But in the end, the reign of Richie ends after 123 days. And Crossroads provides some excellent surprises and excellent matchups that I have never dreamed of to be calling here tonight in Brooklyn New York but your winner and the new women's champion for the very first time the Dutch delight Kim Blight she can't believe it, lost the women's sack team titles earlier tonight, but becomes the women's champion. Kimmy B, as referenced by Mercedes Ritchie, wins the very first women's championship. That is surprising.
but what a feat, congratulations. And now we're going to come to the final matchup of the evening, ready in a second. Kim Blight can't believe it, but she's got to get out of the ring because there's one more match to go. And that is going to be this onslaught. Nothing more or less to argue about it. This is the pinnacle of the RFW men's division. The RFW Fed Championship that will be defending here tonight. The 65th reign is at stake and I've been present to host reigns number 1, 3, 7 and 36. Oh, uh, and I don't have to get 10. I've been a five-time champion, sorry. Forgot to keep track, really. But ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from San Diego, California in the USA. He's the former two-time 109-day reigning RFB Fed champion and the current ranked number three, Dylan. Vincent! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent. He is on a mission to defend his RFB Fed Championship. Tonight, he brings his reign in to 42 days. This man comes to you from Allentown, Pennsylvania in the USA. He is the submission magician. He is Roy Pierce. The Camaro Lock finisher set to do more damage here tonight so let's see what happens and I doubt that anyone wants to give up their reigns that early But what is next for these gentlemen? That's questions needed to be answered. And Dylan Vincent is ready, and he should be. But so is Roy Pierce, who is going to be the first one out to win. The tile has been displayed by the referee. It's time for your main event of the evening. What a third one of the triple main event. And there we go, Dylan Vincent and Roy Pierce. Let's see how they fare here tonight. Are you happy? If so, keep on being. Never stop being happy. Never stop chasing your dreams. Those are the mottos. They came in. Two. 
two. Four. Try to keep an eye out for it. Don't get a double count out. Six. Six. Oh, there we go. Match goes on, and now is the first admission hooked on. Ooh, that's harsh. Very harsh take down. So far, nothing changing. But they can keep on trying. And that's what they've got to do. Work hard, but never play hard. That's when you lose. Just keep on working and fighting. Looks as if Roy Pierce got everything under control. One count. All right. Dylan Vincent now with a high kick. Makes use of the body of Roy Pierce. But of course, got to try and counter it all in. Vincent crawling to the apron now. And Roy Pierce just knocks him off straight into the face. Oh, was right. Punch. And a kick, series of kicks there. But Vincent knows how to do this. And this time he knocks him in the face and busts him open. Advantages sailing in. Four package pod driver. At least a package slam, good enough. It's aerial view here. Gotta get him in. Seven. Vincent keeps his opportunity alive. Ten can is the end of the line. They're all true. Kip up, huge kick again to the face. And Vincent now. Runs through. Jesus, knees. All the way to the back, but a road break has been enforced by the referee. Slams the face on the canvas. Some old work there. And there you go. Will this be the tap out for the submission magician? Nope. Keeps his championship dream alive. Well, look at the red covering his face. How long will this last? Throws him in to the arm breaker. Will he tap? No, he gets out. Rule break enforced. But nevertheless, it's going to shoot off that right arm. Oh, boy, that could be broken. Going to continue, of course, working on that arm. But Dylan Vincent is not one to give up. Look at that, the red goo is going everywhere across Roy Pierce's face. Where does visibility come into play? Another elbow right into it. And again, the submission locked in. But now, can is. Face first. It's gonna bash his hand to the turnbuckle. It's gonna go everywhere. It's seeping out of his forehead. Vince has only got to do one brilliant move, and that's it. The Roy Pierce era is already over. It goes to the cover right now. Thoughts can't be that. 
It's only a one count. But Roy Pierce looks weakened. Two close lines. And a kick to the face. A super kick applied. One more thing. Dang. That's it. That is the end of the era. Dylan Vincent with annihilation. Wow. That I had not seen coming. But that is the way it is. What an interesting crossroads pay for you this has been. Each and every annual crossroads it gets bigger, better, nuttier and more. And I want to thank everyone for viewing here tonight. Production, backstage, partners, partner efforts and direct support as via donations and subscriptions. Keep on doing so. Help us out. Make sure that we grow. And that's all I can say. What a beautiful evening this has been. My name is Jeffrey Blight. And I'm going to see you at Evolution very, very soon. But this is your winner. And the current new three-time RFWE Fed Champion, Dylan Vincent.